Now, one of the best big ideas for a small space is using a big, bold plant. Now, you probably noticed that I use a lot of cannas in my garden. Even though I have a lot of space, I love the huge impact these great big leaves make. Cannas come in, in a, two uh, main colors. They come in this beautiful canna tropicana, this orange striped one. And they also come in the yellow form. So here's the idea that I want to get across. When you have a small space, you can use great big tall plants, but just choose a container that's also tall. And you have great proportions, and it takes up less room to have a tall, skinny container. Now, here's an idea. When you first plant the cannas in the Pacific Northwest, it's going to get like six feet tall. It's going to have beautiful tropical blooms on it. But that's not to the very end of summer. So what I do is I use this space on my patio, and I take a wine glass, anything with a stem on it, a little bit of wire, and I use that to secure it right into my tall pots so that when we're having a party or a barbecue, I can simply use it as a vase. This is a bonfire begonia uh, to add extra color because I'm just still waiting for these cannas to get really tall and bloom. Now, when you have a long, tall pot, another ideal situation is the tall pot can support a tall stake. So you can stick a stake of a citronella candle in here. Um, I have an outdoor light in here, a little piece of art glass. You can use all sorts of things to, to these big tall pots will support a stake for a trellis if you wanted to grow up tall, even to grow vegetables. So tall pots take up less room because you're growing up rather than out. So don't overlook any tiny space in your garden, whether it's a little bit of a space in a pot that's not quite full. Fill it with flowers. That's a big idea for a small space.